Hey, good morning, guys. This is the Tech Prepper. First, I want to thank um, all of the subscribers. Um, we're really happy with uh, the rate at which the uh, the channel is growing. Uh, today's video is kind of fun for me. Um, it's going to be on ham radio. So if you're not into emergen emergency communications, this may not be the video for you. Um, just to give you guys some background, so we just moved to this mostly off-the-grid property a few days ago. And we don't have a whole lot of services. Uh, we don't get internet or a landline uh, to our house. So we are limited only by satellite. And um, so I had a couple days and it's a very interesting experience not to have access to the internet. You would be surprised, or at least I was very surprised in how often I needed to, or wanted to look up for something and couldn't. Um, so, I decided I had all this downtime. Um, our furniture hadn't arrived yet, uh, but I had to bring my ham radio gear. And I have been a technician class licensed now for about two years, and I've never had a contact on VHF, UHF, uh, on the repeaters while I was in California. Um, in fact, when I was previously in Arizona, I didn't either. So, the first thing I did was uh, my wife and I, we, uh, had to drive down to the Home Depot. Uh, basically, it took us about 20 minutes to get down to the nearest city. And uh, I used an application on my phone called um, Repeater Book. And uh, it has the ability to uh, geotag you and then figure out which repeaters are in your area. So before I lost cell phone coverage, I actually pulled up Repeater Book on my iPhone and I found some that were just shy of 10 miles from me, uh, which is about what I'm able to do uh, with line of sight on these radios. It can go a bit farther. Um, and fortunate enough, by the time I pulled up to the house, it showed me being 4.1 miles north of the repeater. So I hopped on my computer and I programmed uh, my, my Baofeng, actually. Uh, this is the uh, Baofeng F8HP. This is the eight watt radio. Uh, I also have the uh, UV5R, and these are really inexpensive radios. Uh, but basically I had first programmed the eight watt radio. I figured I need a little bit more power than five watts, and let's see if I can make my first contact. And I was actually out behind the pool, and sure enough, first time out, uh, I was able to get a contact, and it's it really is an experience. Uh, so being able to communicate without any access to my phone, the internet was amazing. So let's talk about that first experience. So again, I did it on a $40 handheld. Uh, hey babe, I'm taking a video. And um, yeah, so I had a lot of mic fright when I when I started. Uh, my big concern was I was going wasn't going to follow the rules even though I knew what they were. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and try to get somebody on the air right now using that same repeater. I'm gonna use my better Yaesu FT60R, um, and I'm on W7ARA is the repeater. And again, this is about four miles south. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna key the mic and wait for the repeater to open up. And then I'm gonna save my call sign and uh, see if anybody's interested in talking to me. Uh, typically you'll repeat your call sign and say listening or monitoring. Uh, but I actually want to see if someone is willing to pop on the air with us right now. And uh, one of the first things I learned was that uh, uh, one of the guys correct me on how to actually speak on these. So hold it to your mouth and speak across uh, the speaker. So again, I'm new to this. So uh, feel free to correct me in the description or in the comments below. So I'm going to key the mic. This is Kilo Tango 1, Romeo Uniform, November. I'm recording a YouTube video and looking for a quick demo. This is Kilo Tango 1, Romeo Uniform, November. This is 
Great to meet you. Thank you for the uh, contact. Uh, do you mind if I record this on YouTube? I'm trying to get a channel out there and get some new hams um, interested in the hobby. That's okay. Go ahead and uh, record it. What's your name, sir? My name is Gaston. Hey, good morning, Gaston. My name is Leonard. Uh, I'm located down in Arizona right now. Hey, Leonard. Yeah, I'm in the New River area. We just moved a couple days ago, and uh, yeah, we're loving Arizona. I'm on W7ARA, and it's about 4.1 miles uh, south of me. Uh, and this actually was the first time I was able to get on the air. I had my first contact a couple days ago. I uh, did not have any success before we moved out here. So it was great to finally get on a repeater and uh, get on with somebody. Uh, San, San Clemente, California. It's a little beach enclave uh, just north of uh, San Diego. Well, very good, sir. Uh, I need to drop off, but um, I'd like to get your, your call one more time. Um, if you can, uh, if you could spell it phonetically, that'd be great. Okay, the uh, call sign here was Alpha Delta 7, Alpha Sierra. The name was Leonard. And it was nice having a uh, QSO with you this morning, and good luck on your uh, YouTube video. This is 87AS, Leonard. Copy. Thanks again, Leonard. Uh, this is KT1, RUN, clear. All right, guys, so uh, really that's all there is to it. Um, so yeah, if we didn't have cell, I could actually pop on my uh, VHF, UHF handheld, um, you know, on the $30 Bofang or $150 uh, Yesu Radio and make some contacts. So that's all there really is to it. Um, when are you in? November, Juliet, 7, Victor. Juliet, Victor. Let's see uh, if we can get this guy on here. I missed the end of the call. I think he... Uh, didn't key his mic. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the radio just in case here. Uh, so yeah, so that was kind of fun. So sorry, I don't know how this is all coming across on, on video, uh, but it was kind of fun. Um, I did take some notes. So yeah, I wanna give a big shout out to my first contact. It was Whiskey Bravo 7 Zulu kilo alpha and he was also based out of the chandler area in arizona so uh, i'm finding that the ham radio community is super welcoming to to newcomers um so yeah some of my upcoming projects uh on this channel for ham radio are uh i've got a small uh, newer tripod uh, it's a desktop tripod and it has a quarter inch uh camera screw on it and i have to constantly switch between this camera tripod and mounting my ATOS, my ATOS 25, and uh, it threads right on the bottom. And this is a temporary antenna, but uh, I'm actually uh, probably going to keep it uh, up for a while. Uh, and I've got the ground radials laid out right now. Uh, so what I'm planning on building, 
Let me see if I'm still in the frame here. What I'm planning on building, um, went to the Home Depot and uh, I just need a small uh, pole with a quarter inch threads to uh, mount the, the antenna on. So I bought, uh, I think it is maybe half inch copper piping that I'm gonna stake into the ground uh, just to secure a piece of PVC pipe. And then on top I have another uh, PVC end cap and I'm just gonna drill a hole and put in a quarter inch screw and see how that works. So my goal is to probably to mount it no higher than about, um, I don't know, six inches off the ground. Uh, according to the manual, the ATOS 25 does like to be close to the ground. Um, so I'll probably do that this weekend. And that antenna, I'm amazed with it. Now that I have room to spread out, um, even though I'm a technician class operator, I was able to uh, use my antenna tuner. I think it's the Rig Expert 35 Zoom and I was able to tune it on uh, 10 meters. Um, there wasn't anything on 10 meters whatsoever, but that's the set of frequencies, or that's the band that I'm allowed to partially operate on as a technician. Uh, but later in the evening, um, I decided to uh, see if I could tune it for 20 meters. Uh, didn't pick up the whole lot there, and then I tuned it to 40, and dear Lord, I got all kinds of chatter. Um, I was receiving only because of my license restrictions, uh, but I'm very impressed with the quality. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is when I finally am able to take my general license and pass, um, and I'm able to make a first HF contact, the gift I'm gonna buy myself for going through all of this education and, and practice and is probably getting myself a nice um, all-band uh, radio. I'm looking at the Yesu uh, 991A um, I'm also looking at the ICOM 7300. That seems to be the gold standard. Uh, even though it doesn't have VHF, UHF, I think I'm fine now that I know that I can use my handhelds. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, stick around. Like I said, I'm learning uh, this hobby, I'm trying to bring in some new blood. Um, I am a software engineer by trade, so I'm also thinking of uh, building a lot of cool uh, apps and uh, services for the ham radio community, like propagation maps, uh, based on how I plan to use the radio. So stay tuned. So be strong, be safe, and uh, think about uh, getting into ham radio. This is KT1, RUN. Best of luck, everybody, and uh, 73.